Welcome to File 8 MVS. My name is Roger Wayne, and I'll be talking to you about some of the key features of File 8 and how File 8 can improve your productivity and help you solve many of your business related problems. File 8 MVS offers a wide range of file and data management capabilities, and they are used in application development, maintenance, and production support activities. My own background is in mainframe application development, and I can't imagine not having it in my toolbox. File 8 MVS has thousands of users worldwide, and I'm happy that you can join us. For new and first-time users, File 8 MVS has two components, online and batch. Batch processing is suitable when online access to production files is restricted, when online access to test files is limited to off hours, or when updating extremely large files. Some functionality, such as full screen editing, is of course available online only, while other functionality, such as file compares, may be set up online and run either online or as batch jobs. The full reference manuals for both components are downloadable from Frontline. Now, let's look at some of the things that you can do with File Aid. Since I have already mentioned editing files, I will begin with a look at the File Aid editor. If you are familiar with ISPF, you can immediately use the File Aid editor because standard ISPF commands such as insert, repeat, copy, move, delete, find, and change are all available. Do you have vSAM files? These are no problem for file aid. Here you see an edit window open on a vSAM file. Notice that the record keys are highlighted. Do you have any special files in terms of record lengths, record formats, or organization? File aid can handle these as well. You also have the option to produce and manage an audit trail of the changes you make during an edit session. Want more? You may specify a record layout or copybook for your file, and the COBOL or PL1 data names will appear on the screen adjacent to the data. No more guessing where fields begin and end. Let me show you two examples. First, you see standard formatted mode, which may be used to view one record at a time. Here you see vertically formatted mode, where you see several records with their fields and field information displayed in columnar format. This is cool stuff, right? Wait, it gets even better. How about identifying invalid data? Look at this. Invalid data, highlighted and displayed in hex. Hmm, looks like the old blanks in a packed field. Oh well, I'm sure that someone will use the file aid editor to fix this and search for other invalid values as well. The file aid change command may be used to locate and change invalid data. Oh, that's right, you never see any bad data, do you? Moving on to another area, where there is an editor, there is data, and where there is data, there is sure to be test data. Did you ever have the opportunity to create test data? In some cases, you may find yourself tediously entering record after record from the keyboard. But it's more likely that you copy from existing production data. FileAid provides a great mechanism for easily doing that copy. Selection criteria may be used to create subset files based on two criteria types. You may select records based on data content, such as marital status or ranges of numeric values, and you may also select records based on record counts and intervals. Let's look at examples of both cases. Here we see the parameters that are used to select records where the employee's marital status is M 
and their life insurance withholding amount is between $900 and $1,300. Any fields may be interrogated and more complex logic may be built. On this screen, you can see where the other options are chosen. The processing may begin at a location other than the beginning of the file. Subsequent selection intervals are set and even backward processing is allowed. If you need any new files for your testing, the FileAid vSAM and Dataset Extended Utilities let you allocate any file type online, including vSAM Linear and Generation Data Group datasets. You can also model the attributes of a new dataset after those of an existing dataset, eliminating the need to know the optimal parameters. This is especially beneficial in the case of vSAM files. ID cams be gone. Let's look at another area of testing, validation of test results. This often involves a tedious manual comparison of before and after test files. The FileAid Compare utility allows you to easily compare two data files in virtually any file type. Comparisons may be done in formatted mode by simply naming the copybook fields to be compared. There is no need to know field lengths, field positions, or data types. For your additional compare requirements, in addition to data compares, the FileAid Compare utility also supports JCL, source code, and load libraries. And finally, what about JCL conversions? FileAid MVS can save hours, days, or even weeks of painstaking work converting JCL libraries to accommodate changes in hardware, naming conventions, or accounting standards. FileAid can apply one or more global changes to all members of JCL libraries. FileAid MVS recognizes JCL continuation characters, so it can process multiple physical lines as a single, logical JCL statement. Let's look at a simple example. Here, a command is entered intending to change occurrences of unit equals sysda to unit equals disk. The PDS contains JCL. The result shows the members changed, the records changed, and the entire JCL statement containing the change. We have looked at just a few examples of the business problems that FileAid can solve. You will learn how to solve them in the various modules available to you on Frontline. Since file editing may be the most common activity, the majority of the editor commands and features are covered in modules that focus on the FileAid editor itself. The remaining modules provide scenario-based learning as they are all about solving various business problems. Here are three examples. Your company has purchased another company. You must merge new data into your files, and that will require reformatting some files. You will learn how the reformat utility can solve this problem. You are testing a major system modification and must be certain the output is correct. You will learn how the compare utility can solve this problem. You must do massive JCL changes because naming conventions have changed. You will learn how the Search Update utility can solve this problem. I recommend that you view the FileAid Editor Basics module first. Consider it to be a prerequisite to any of the other modules because it contains some fundamentals that apply to all areas of FileAid. Beyond that, you are encouraged to review the entire list of modules available on Frontline. Also, modules will be added from time to time, so check Frontline for updates. Again, welcome to FileAid. Thank you.